What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a part two of my little series that I have going on of people in the NBA that I feel like is unrated. My first part was on DeAnthony Melton. Please make sure to check that out when you can. This video I would like to talk about Kyle Anderson of the Timberwolves. Kyle Anderson was drafted in the 2014 draft with the 30th pick in the first round. He was selected by the San Antonio Spurs and that was the same year the Spurs were coming off a championship. Now looking at this draft board I find it kind of crazy how some of these players aren't even in the league anymore. And although they don't play, he doesn't play for the Spurs anymore, Kyle Anderson is still producing almost 10 years later. On September 19, 2011, Kyle Anderson committed to go to UCLA and play for the Bruins. He only played there for two years, but he averaged 14.9 points per game, 8.7 rebounds, and 6.5 assists. He decided to forego his last two years of college to declare for the 2014 draft. As mentioned earlier, the Spurs were coming off winning the championship, so they had the last pick in the first round of the draft. They selected Anderson, and he was actually the only new player for this team in the following season because they decided to keep all their players from the title win. Because Greg Popovich wanted to give their stars a, give his stars a rest, Kyle Anderson debuted in the fourth game of the season. He played a team-high 31 minutes. He shot only one for eight from the field, but had eight rebounds, four assists, two steals, and he was the primary ball handler in the fourth quarter. Now... This just showed how versatile Kyle Anderson was as a player. He played for the team for four years until the 2017 and 18 season. And in that season, because Kawhi Leonard missed a lot of the games due to injury, he averaged 26.7 minutes per game and averaged career highs across the board at eight points per game, five rebounds, three assists, and two steals. He, will, he would then be going to the Memphis Grizzlies in the 2018-2019 season. That season, Kyle Anderson decided to sign with the Memphis Grizzlies, as mentioned. He was a free agent, and he signed a four-year, $37.2 million contract. After the Spurs decided not to match the offer, Greg Popovich said he wanted to have Kyle Anderson back, but he didn't want to pay that much money for him, but he did say he was happy for him. The Grizzlies general manager made it a point saying it was a main target to acquire him in free agency. Of April of that year, Kyle Anderson had a surgery in his shoulder because of discomfort. This surgery, he actually, he actually had to remove a top rib so the nervous system could flow properly again. And he actually had to learn how to shoot again. He had to train himself. When he came back, he played as a small forward, power forward, and center. And I think that's just a testament to how versatile he is as a player. In the twenty in the twenty twenty one twenty twenty two season, Kyle Anderson moved to the bench because the Grizzlies front office decided to put more emphasis on developing Jaron Jackson Jr. and they also signed Stephen Adams, who's coming from OKC. In his last season with the Grizzlies, Anderson averaged twenty two minutes per game. While averaging eight uh, eight points, five rebounds, and three assists. Now these numbers are similar to how we're in, how it was in San Antonio, but being able to be a, po a point forward and spread across these many positions make Anderson such a valuable player. After this season, he would go and sign with the Minnesota Timberwolves. In this currently the team he is playing for, the 2022-2023 season. On July 8th, 2022, Kyle Anderson signed with the Timberwolves. He's playing 28 minutes per game while averaging 9 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists. I feel like he's a very integral part to this team because whenever somebody's injured, he just fills in. He just fills into the starting five because he could play almost every position. Carl Anthony Towns has been injured since November, and I believe he only came back this week. Anthony Edwards has missed time also. Kyle Anderson fills in. Usually when somebody's injured from the starting five, and I feel like he always does a nice job. Almost averaging a triple-double is very valuable to any team, and he almost averaged one for his entire NBA career. I feel like wherever he goes after this, the team will be 
Well, the team will be better because having always a guy like this that could play any position, especially in today's NBA with transitionless basketball, is always a big positive. And I feel like that's why many teams would like a Kyle Anderson or a player that plays like him, like the style that could play any position. That brings me to the end of the video. I don't have much input on Kyle Anderson on the Timberwolves right now, considering it's his only season. But what I am seeing, I feel like he's doing a really good job. Filling in whenever, wherever he's needed, whatever position, and however he needs to play. Wherever he goes after this, if he chooses to stay, or he decides to pursue another team, I will always be a fan of him. I just think it's really valuable how players like him can play any any position or fill in wherever they need to. Please let me know what other players you would like me to would like me to cover in this underrated series, please check out my D'Anthony Melton video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and tell me how you feel about Kyle Anderson. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.